Let's check, let's check, let's check audio. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome. Good evening. How are you? Are you good? Welcome, welcome. It's nice to have you one more time. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to have another class. Today, we're going to have class number 12. Yay, that's very good. Thank you so much for being here, people. Give me a minute while I get the information for you so we can start working on this one. Yes. Thank you. Gabriela Noemi, hello. How are you? Hello, mister. Good evening. Oh, it's nice to have you one more time. Are you ready for tomorrow? Tomorrow we have Independence Day. Yes, Gabriela? Yes. Mm -hmm. Va a ir a ver los parades que tenemos tomorrow? I don't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. If you have to work tomorrow, si tiene que trabajar tomorrow, right? Don't forget to get early to work. Porque después de las ocho va a estar everything close. Yes. Yeah, so uh, get early over there so you can be safe tomorrow. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to carry on with this module. As you may know, give me a minute. We're going to have number 12. Hello, Jose Antonio. How are you? Hello, I'm fine. Oh, can't complain. Everything is awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Le oh, Jesus. I did a mistake. Give me a minute. Thank you. Okay, here we go. This is going to be uh, section number four. We're going to have our last class of this week. And the next class is going to be on Monday. Yes. Tomorrow, as you may know, we have a big celebration. Yes. Um, so my recommendation is go out and enjoy. Yes. If you have to work, as I was talking with Gabriela, get early. Wake up early so you can get to work on time. Because after eight, everything is going to be Close. Yeah, exactly. So, exactly, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So you can go to <laughs> and buy some donuts. I would say. Well, I don't know. Like, uh, I don't like those kind of donuts. Yeah. Cause, cause... Have you another fact <laughs> about this? <laughs> Only in El Salvador uh, are, are as uh, duro blandito cheese. <laughs> <laughs> as duro blandito cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have different. I mean, uh, I <laughs> duro blandito con loroco. That was Latinches, right? I remember. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, yeah. that was back in the days like uh, she used butter, to like butter in, butter in pupusa <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah. delicious but not nutritious right at the end delicious but not yeah. nutritious okay uh, thank you we're going to work questions of choice oh I love this expression questions of choice Question. questions of choice oh I love this one yeah choice some pupusa. <laughs> from Oloquinta, right? From Oloquinta. Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. pupusas are expensive. Jesus. Yeah. I don't know why, but pupusas are very expensive. I went to Oloquinta, and that was expensive, like a dollar. One yeah. pupusa, like 80 cents or 90 cents. And that was like, why? I mean, I'm not rich. Yes. I mean, I'm here buying pupusas because I'm not rich. Yeah, and like... Maybe, I don't know, in La Escalón or maybe in, in Santa Elena, right? Where, like, I mean. You have face like a hermano lejano. Oh. Because, because you have face to tourists. Exactly, exactly. Like a, a like a tourist person, right? From someone from, <laughs> ¿cómo le llaman? La, um, Jesus. Uh, yes, it's people from the U.S. ¿Cómo le llaman esta people? Uh, La pupusa de loco. <laughs> No, when, like here, businesses here in El Salvador, they love people from the U.S., like uh, Salvadorian people, like 
come yeah. from the U.S. and they yeah, spend correct. money here. So that's why it's like, oh, Jesus, everything is expensive. So that today we are going to talk about choices. Okay, here we're going to have okay. this information in North America. Angel, Isaac, Cibrian, please do me a favor and read the information here. Sure. Hi, good evening. In the North America, people spend more in health care than in other parts of the world. And drug stores and health food stores, people can buy over the countries. Medicine for colds, colds and sore throats, as well as vitamins and other supplements. Home readings for common illnesses such as colds and sore throats are are also popular. Popular, right? Popular, very good. So I was saying something about these pupusas. How expensive are they? And now. What about medicine? How like expensive is medicine here yeah. in El Salvador? Esmeralda Figueroa. What is your opinion about this um let's say information and then compare like the prices that we have here in El Salvador with the prices that like people in the US uh pay, let's say. Sorry, teacher, I don't know. I, I am mis I was distraught. Distra distra <laughs> oh, distracted. You were distracted. Okay. Distracted. No problem. Yes. Thank you so much. Do you want me to repeat the question or do you want to like have time to read the information? Um, I I, I want to have, have time. Perfect. No problem. Thank you. Uh, let's work with you, uh, Luis. Tell me, what is your opinion like or what are, what are the difference or what are the like the similarities that between buying let's say um i don't know medicine in the u.s and buying yes. medicine here in el salvador so my 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 mother is in uh, maryland and she uh, ella me pide que le mandemos uh, acetaminofen amoxicilina medicina que no tenga prescripción médica porque ella dice que es caro es caro yeah it's, it's very expensive right over there yeah. like and and luis was mentioning something very common nowadays like people from the u.s request like let's say common medicine for simple illnesses or for common i don't know uh health problems like acetaminophen aspirins and stuff like that right because over there those are expensive yeah, uh, yeah. and they want to save some yeah. money that is true um Thank you. Uh, Jose Antonio, question for you. What type of medicines are available over the counter? You see, this is the counter, right? You see this one here? Yes, Jose, this is the counter. You see, yeah. here we have some mm -hmm. kind of, let's say, medicine. So what type of medicines are available over the counter in here for calls and sore throats in are in our country. Like say here in El Salvador, when we have a call, what is the medicine that we have? Yes. Um uh, example <laughs> Hello. Sorry, I was muted. Aspirins. Uh huh. Oil. Okay, perfect. Yes, thank you so much for letting me know. Thank you so much. Very good, Maria. Tell me, question for you. Do you do people usually take medicine or like <laughs> use home remedies? when they have a call? Um, um, in El Salvador, the people use more medicine from, from drugstore. Okay. Because, because uh, um, the average of people 
don't don't know uh, don't know about uh, about traditional medicine in how in in how to 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 um, um, yeah. to keep health. That is true. Thank you so much. Yes. Like, um, yeah. Thank you so much for sharing that. That is true. Right nowadays, we have a bunch of medicine available in a drugstore that we can take when we have a call. Uh, thank you. What is your opinion about it, Blanca Esmeralda, about the last question? Blanca Esmeralda Flores. Hello, Blanca Esmeralda. Good evening. No? Okay. Sander Lisette Elizondo. Good evening. Nice to have you, um, Sandra. Tell me, do you do people usually take medicine or use home remedies when they have a call? Um, do you understand the question? Yes. Okay, perfect. So what's your opinion about it? Like... And the people usually uh, use home remedies. Remedies when they have a cold. Oh, yeah. Sometimes that happens, right? Sometimes that happens. We have a lemon with, I don't know, <laughs> with water sometimes, okay, and salt. Yeah, very good. Thank you so Sorry. much. Okay, let's continue. Lemon, garlic, and onion. Oh, look at that combination, oh, right? Le <laughs> Lemon, garlic, <laughs> and onion. Look at this one. This is like when we got COVID. Do you remember when we we, we used to got COVID? Uh, and they bunch uh, uh they like used to give us uh vaporub, and also a bunch of eucalyptus right here. Yes. Um. Okay, so we're gonna have home remedies and over-the-counter drugs. Over-the-counter drugs. Do you understand what is this expression? Do you understand what what is the meaning of over-counter drugs? Any idea? Uh, for example, the pharmacy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Like like medicine from the yeah, drugstore, fine. right? The, the typical, let's say, uh, medicine that we can have in a for uh, common health problems, okay? Home remedies. What are those home remedies? Uh-huh. Tea with lemon and honey. Okay, so tea. With. With lemon. lemon and honey. Oh, honey is another popular thing here in El Salvador. Uh -huh. Yes. And garlic. Tea of Tea of chamomile. Oh yes, exactly, exactly, right? It's another, it's another one that that they they have. Yes, and that one is very popular. We can buy it also in. Uh... Teacher. Yes. All these is for uh, cold. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, All of these ones are related cold. to that. For a cold, right? If you see, let me see. I'm not gonna see that. Okay. What is another one? Onion, you told me. Onions oh, and garlic. Oh, Jesus. Onions and garlic. I don't like garlic. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like it. Me too. So, I <laughs> love in bread. <laughs> <laughs> oh, in bread. Yes, that is true, right? Yes. Like a toast. Yeah, that's good. But I don't like it, so I don't. I don't have it. Yes, uh, I. I don't. I don't know. Like people love it sometimes, but. That's not, I'm not into that. Okay, what about over the counter drugs? Uh -huh. Exactly. Yeah, but we don't have it here, so I'm gonna use this one. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, what about, what about, uh, cough? What, are, what is the like over the counter medicine? Uh -huh. Aspirin. Aspirin, right. I hate aspirins. I don't drink those. What about you? Do you, do you take aspirins? No, no. No, right. 
yeah that's not aspirins are not good for your health so i mean mm. maybe no. for a headache maybe right i guess no, but it's only for for um, for uh, for age people mm -hmm. yes that's true that's true that's true and what is another one what is another one Okay, cough, very good, cough, cough, medicine, um, and sore, sore, okay, sore, throat, throat, yes, throat, Los Angeles, Los Angeles, oh my gosh. Honey with lemon. Oh, that is another one. Yes. Or um, so, put, so. put big vaporu. Oh, yes, right. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. That helps. Yeah. And chicken soup. Where is where is chicken soup? Like here, home mm -hmm. remedies or here over the counter? Home remedies. Okay, soup. Yes. Home chicken home. soup. Chicken soup, delicious and nutritious. This is delicious and nutritious, right? Chicken soup. And what about steam? Here steam. Home remedies. Exactly right. Steam. Yes. Very good. Thank you so much. So whenever you have something, well, you you know what to take, right? But you can also have onions and garlic, or tea with lemon and honey. Yes. Chamomile. Oh. Chamomile. Chamomile. Exactly, right? We got it. Chamomile. Very good. Wonderful. Let me with delete this lemons. one. Exactly. That's good. That's good. Let me show you one more example. Okay. We're going to watch this video. I need you to watch this one. Take notes if you want to. And write example if you want to as well. Let's listen and watch. Hi again. There are many questions we can ask with how. This time we'll ask questions related to distance, measurement, descriptions, and conditions. As soon as we listen to the explanation, we'll ask you some questions. Get ready. Questions with how. How far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about 2,000 kilometers, 1,200 miles. How big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers, 250 square miles. How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high, 12,250 feet. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep, 6,250 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long, 3,710 miles. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It gets up to about 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. How cold is it in the winter? It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We will use how to ask different types of questions. We will use how this way. How plus adjective plus verb plus complement plus question mark. Let's go back to the chart. Notice how and right after it we have far. Far is an adjective. How big? Big is an adjective. And because we use adjectives, we must use the verb be properly conjugated. How long is the Mississippi River? How is the question word? Long is the adjective. Is is the verb be in singular. Mississippi River is the complement. Ready to answer? Here we go. How big is your country? How tall are you? Which one is the longest river in your country? Okay, thank you so much. Three. 
thank you so much. Well, this is information that we were working yesterday, as you may know. And we're going to have some practice on this one as well. Page okay. 96. So we're going to have this reading about Antarctica. I don't know if you see it well. Do you see it well? Like, kind of tiny, right? Yes. So for this one, I will have Luis. Hello, Luis. Please read this information about Antarctica, please. Thank you. Okay. Antarctica is the most southern continent in the world. It's like nowhere else on on here, Earth. It's much it's much larger than Europe and nearly twice twice. How do you say twist? Twice. And twice the size of Australia. It's an easy plateau with the South Pole at its center. Antarctica is the coldest and wind, windiest, play, windiest place in the world. Even colder and winter than the North Pole. Also, 98% of Antarctica is covered in ice. It is consider, consider, considered the desert along the coast. Annual precipitation, preci, pre, how do you say precipitation? Yeah, precipitation. Precipitation is only uh, 2,000 Millimeters. Mi, mi, millimeters uh, or eight inch. Very good. Uh, a year. Very few plants grow there, but there is some wild, wildlife, Wild. including whales, seal, and penguins. Is right? Penguins? Mm -hmm. Yes, that is correct. In the summer, the sun shine, the sun shines for uh, twenty four hours a day, but in the winter is completely completely, com completely there for about three months. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Very good. Continue, please, Cindy Carolina de Cruz de Lopez. Cindy Carolina, continue. Alej Alejandra Elizabeth Duran Ramos, continue, please. When the captain, James. Okay, I think you have a problem with your mic. Um, okay. Blanca Estela Lara, please continue. Blanca. Hello. Okay. Isaac. Isaac. Continue. Hey, coach. Thank you, please. When the captain, James. I'm sorry, I can speak English. Oh, when the captain, James. Okay. When the captain, James Cook, sailed around the continent in the seventy, um, they found no one living there. Today, a fifth science war were in uh, Antarctica, but they only spent fairly short periods of the time there. Many of these sin science scientists live scientists live and work on the Antarctic Peninsula. This is area is the closest part of Antarctica the, to South America, the continents neither cities neighbor. Many of these 
scientists are they studying the effects of climate change there? Antarctica has warmer, but about 2.5 degrees Celsius since 1960, some ice is melting in certain parts of the continent. However, unlike the vast melting that is happening in the Antarctic, the ice in the Antarctica is actually growing in spite of okay. global warming. Scientists, scientists think that scientists think that this cool and lovely place can teach us a lot of a lot about the earth and how to keep it safe. Very <clears throat> good. Thank you so much. Con las fechas tenemos, vamos a leer de dos en dos. Okay, 1770s, okay. 1770s, y aquí 1950. Since 1950. Okay, so the dos en dos, right? The two in two. Okay, yes. So this information is about Antarctica, right? And here, as you may see, we have the map. This is like Atlantic Ocean, the Indian Ocean, and here we have the Pacific Ocean, right, around the Antarctic. We're going to have some true and false sentences. Let's begin with number one. Antarctica is bigger than Europe. That is true or false? False. That is true. True. Yes. So it's a big place, right? The North Pole is the clo the coldest place in the world. Is that true, true or false? Yes, it's true. Yes, it's true. Yes. That is false. False. Yes, that is false. The coast in Antarctica gets a lot of snow. True. The coast. No, I'm sorry, that is false. Why? Number four. In Antarctica, it never gets dark in the summer. True. True. Okay, that is true. Number five. Captain Cook discovered a few people living in Antarctica. That is false. Thank you so much. He didn't mention that. The Antarctic Peninsula is the closest part of Antarctica to South America. This is difficult. True or false? That is? That is true. Thank you so much. That is true. Ice in Antarctica is melting throughout the continent. That is true or false? True. I'm sorry, that is false. Okay. False. They didn't mention that. Okay, very good. Thank you, thank you. Let's practice a little bit more with this thing that is called distances. Let's check. Ah, look at this one. Oh, I need to take the attendance. Give me a minute, please. Sorry. When you hear your name, say presenter, I'm here, please. Thank you so much. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, Alejandra Elizabeth Duran Ramos. Alejandra Hello, Elizabeth Duran. Thank, thank you so much, Alejandra. Nice to have you. Alejandra Maria Mejia Avelar. Alejandra Maria Mejia Avelar. No, she isn't. Okay. Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernández. Andrea Esmeralda Flores Hernández. No, she isn't. What about Ángel Isaac Cibrián Bonilla? Present. Wonderful. It's nice to have you. One more time. Blanca Esmeralda Flores Ortez. Present, teacher. Thank you. 
And welcome. I'm sorry to hear about it. Nice to have you. Um, Blanca Estela Lara Lopez. Blanca Estela Lara Lopez. No, she isn't. Okay. What Están about? Allí, este, diciendo que este, no, no le escuchan, teacher. Oh my gosh. In the chat. Here was no, ella se puso a hablar, pero nadie le, le puso atención. Pero ahí Ay, está Dios. levantando la mano, creo. Oh, Blanca, Blanca. Ok, let me check, Blanca. Escriba en el chat. I'm, I'm suing, Blanca, please. Thank you. Escriba en el chat, please, so we can have a view over there. Very good. Thank you so much for letting me know. Ok, very good. Edgardo de Jesús Maldonado, Maldonado. Edgardo de Jesús Maldonado, 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 no, ok. Alba Esmeralda Figueroa Serrano. I'm here, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Nice to have you one more time. Gabriela Noemí Orellana Tejada. Present, mister. Thank you. It's nice to have you one more time. Eh, José Antonio Montes Fuentes. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, gentlemen. It's nice to have you. Catherine. Joana Calzadilla Alas. Catherine, Joana Calzadilla Alas. No, she isn't. Kenia Roxana Ayala de Velázquez. No, she isn't. Luis Miguel Mejía Alas. Present teacher. Gentlemen, it's nice to have you one more time. María Delmi Hernández de Montoya. I'm here. It's nice to have you again. Sandra Lisette Elizondo Merino. Good evening. Good evening. It's nice to have you one more time. Cindy Carolina Cruz de López. Here. Perfect. Welcome. And Ursula Yamilet Cornejo Martínez. Hello, Ursula. No? Okay, let me check the chat on soon in case one of your classmates sent... Um, Okay, thank you, Blanca Estela. I got you here. Okay, we're gonna keep working with this exercise. We're gonna have a geography quiz. Geography quiz. Use the words in the box, write questions about the pictures, and okay. then circle the correct answer. So first we need to write questions. Yeah. Using this vocabulary, for example, how high is Angel Falls? Estos son los Angels Falls, right? Y luego, yeah. we need to select the correct option. It's 975 meters, 312 feet tall, or it's 979 meters high. High. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need to be careful with the question and with the answer. Okay? Let's take a look at the next one. This one. So what is the question? How how long? River. How long? Okay. How long is the Jetsa River? Okay. How long is what is your river? Oh, river. Thank you. And what is the correct option? What is the correct option? Letter A or letter B? Letter, letter A. Letter, letter A. A. Very good. Letter A is the correct option. If you notice, letter A we have it's wow. 6,300 kilometers, 3,917 wow. miles long. Okay, 3,000. Very good. Remember, we have this one. So this one, yeah, so it goes close to that one. Very good. Let's see if we have another one. Okay. What about the number three? What is the correct answer? What is the correct question? 
phone call. Oh, very good. Thank you. How? Call. What is next? Is Antarctica? Is Antarctica. Oh, capital letter Antarctica. So, how cold is Antarctica? What is the correct option? A or B? B, letter B. Letter B. It's the down. Mm -hmm. Yes, very good. Because the first one is guess up. So that means the correct. Exactly. Yes, so letter B, it gets down to 83.3 degrees Celsius. Yeah. Yes, so it gets down. So the temperature, okay. the temperature gets down. Yep. What about yeah. the number four? What is the question? How big? Mm, okay. How far? How far, far are far. Australia to New South? How oh, far? yes, that is correct, How Mario. Far? Thank you. How yes. far? How um, far? Like far, far away, right? <laughs> How yeah. far is far it? Australia. Is Australia. it Australia? Australia. To New Zealand. To New Zealand, very good. New Zealand. Teacher, I have a question. Yeah. Uh, mm, uh, because uh, uh, porque es is and because the R is to the country. Thank you. Give me a minute. Yes. Okay, okay. Okay, how far is it? Oh, because we are just like giving the difference between one country and another one. Yes. Como comparando. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So we are like choosing, right? Uh, which es one? Que están juntos. Exactly. So we are going to select just one. Mm -hmm. That's why. Okay, because we are selecting just one. Okay, so how far is Australia? Is it Australia to New Zealand? Oh my gosh, I did a mistake. I'm sorry. Because you tell me from. From. How far is it from Australia to New Zealand? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's about. Yes, that is the reason why, uh, Isaac. It is because we need to talk about just one and that we are like, oh, I forgot the letter mm -hmm. E. Jesus. No, oh, New Zealand. Thank you. Sorry, I forgot. Oh, <laughs> New Zealand. Okay, what is the correct option? A or B? Letter B, letter A. Letter A, it is about, yes, very good. About, Letter A is about this one because we have kilometers. So the kilometers. distance, if you see here, so we have kilometers, it's right? About, it's about 2,000 kilometers, like 1,200 miles. miles. Yes, very good. Thank you. Let me show you the next one. What about this one? What is the question? How big? Oh, how big? Very good. Continue. How big is the Amazon rain forest? How big is the Amazon rain forest? Rain forest. Oh, this is one of my favorite forests that we have in our world. The Amazon is huge. So what is the correct yeah. option? Yeah. A or B? A. 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 Letter A or letter B? A. Letter B, I think. B. A. Yes, it's letter B. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes. A six million kilometers long. long. Exactly. 
Yeah. Thank you. Let's continue. Very good. What about the number six? What is the question in number six? How deep? How deep? Oh, How very deep? Good. Okay. How? How deep is the Grand is the Grand Canyon? Is the Grand Canyon? Oh my gosh! I did a mistake. Oh, this is the Grand. Canyon, okay. Yeah. Oh, yes. What is the correct answer here? What is the correct answer? A, B. Letter B. Letter B, right? Because we have D. Yes, very good. Thank you so much. That's very nice. Perfect. Okay. I'm going to switch to something else. Just give me a minute. Yay. Okay. Here we go. We're going to work with these questions. I need you to write this question in your notebook and try to answer these questions the best way you can. Yes. So, for example, we have how big is the largest city? Mm -hmm. What's the... What's the wettest month what's the driest month how hot does it get in summer how cold does it get in the winter how high is the highest mountain uh, what what was the most beautiful town to visit what is the most beautiful okay so how big is the largest city like what is the largest city here in El Salvador any idea El Salvador. excuse me El Salvador can be El Salvador no okay the largest San Salvador is the largest? San Salvador. Oh, look at that one. Okay. Okay. Um, in the first place, we have San Salvador, Soyapango, San Miguel, Santa Ana, Mexicanos, Santa Tec. <gasps> Mexicanos, look at that one. Santa Tecla a Popa. Jesus. Eh, Ciudad Delgado. So, so nice. <laughs> Welcome. Jesus. Uh, I, I'm looking at information here on Google. It says like San Marcos, San Salvador. We have 54,000. 54,000. Jesus. Oh my gosh. Usulután and then Cojutepeque. Cojute. <laughs> mire, Cojute. Oh, Jesus. It's like we have a lot of people in Cojute. Yeah. Cojute. Oh, I didn't know that. Right? Yeah. So, ¿qué va a hacer usted? Tratar de contestar estas questions con la information, right? Así como los que hicimos aquí en estos examples here, right? Si usted se fija, mire. Por ejemplo, aquí tenemos how high is Angel Falls. Entonces viene usted y pone, right? It's, y le pone meters high. Que va con high, right? Luego aquí, sí, dijimos que era, ¿cuál es que? How long, right? Yes. How long. So mire la respuesta va a it's kilometers. Long, okay, so let's say. Luego teníamos esta que era. How big and um, how big is. No. Ah, no. How cold. How cold, exactly. Cuando tenemos how ah, cold, no. vamos con Celsius or degrees Celsius, right? Yeah. Yes. Ahora, depende. Si va para arriba, hace calor. Si va para abajo, it's cold, right? Entonces, por eso aquí, because this is Antarctica, 
pues usted va a poner it gets down y luego ahora si vive en San Miguel o la, o la Santa Rosa de Lima ¿cuál sería? up or down get up get up get yeah up. Mire, yeah eh. yes find another place to live right that's that's the best option eh, luego tenemos Australia right yes how far how eh. far right exactly Sí, pero aquí tenemos dos países, right? Entonces, usted puede decir, oh, look at this one, right? Tengo two cities. Yes. Igual acá. You see? Kilometers. How big? How deep is this one? ¿Y cuál nos quedaba aquí? How big. How, how big. How, how big. How big. Yeah, probably how big, right? How big. Very good. Thank Entonces, igual así va a ser usted. Um... How big is the largest city? Entonces va a poner it's y le pone pues la distance, right? Oh What's the God. wettest month? The wettest month. July. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think it's no. July. No, no, the wettest. Wettest. July. The wettest no. is, is. What is wettest? Húmedo, right? Húmedo. 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 El más húmedo, yes. El más húmedo. We are in um, September. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I think September, it's... September to, to, to October. Yes, but we need to pick one. And I think the only one is October, I guess. That's the wettest. Yes, October is... We have hurricanes and a bunch of stuff. The and number three, what's the driest month? Mire, mm. it's the opposite. It's the opposite. Yeah. What's the dries? Marzo April or April? April. Probably. Right. Very good. How that I'm sorry. How hot does it get in the summer? Oh, this is like mm -hmm. siempre está hot right here in El Salvador. Winter yeah. and summer. Hace un calorón heavy. Yes. So um very good. And then, how cold 25. does it get in winter? In winter, right? Oh, I'm sorry, we don't have. No sabemos qué es esta palabra, have, cold. Cold, no. Cold, no. Solo cuando no te gripe, ahí sí, right? Ahí. Oh, yes. That's a cold. It's but a cold. cuando se refiere al weather, it's nothing like that. Luego, how oh, high is the highest okay. mountain? Well, I don't know mountains about here. Oh. And what's the most beautiful town eh, to visit? What is the most beautiful town to visit? Sí, San Salvador, no Cojute, Suchitoto. Okay. Hmm. Ataco yes. is so popular. Ataco so... is very popular, exactly. That's great. Yeah. El Puerto, La Libertad, right? It's another one. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Vamos a hacer el next exercise, which is this one. Tenemos adjectives. Ayúdeme con los adjectives, Gabriela, please. Thank you. Yo los digo y usted los repite. Yes? Okay. Number one, biggest. Biggest. Bad. Bad. Shorter. Shorter. Worse. 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 Near. Near. Lowest. Lowest. Driest. Right. Hot. Hot. Shortest. Short. Hotter. Hotter. <laughs> Smaller. Smaller. Coldest. Coldest. Wetter. Wetter. Dry. Dry. High. High. Letter A. Better. Better. Wettest. Wettest. Colder. Colder. Drier. Drier. Hottest. Hottest. Smallest. Smallest. Far. Far. Bigger. Bigger. Good. Good. Best. Best. Low. Low. Highest. High. Longest. Longest. Wet. Wet. Taller. Taller. Call. Call. Thank you. Let's begin with the uh this animal. What is this animal? What is the elephant. name of elephant. 
is an elephant. Very good. Do me a favor, uh, Esmeralda Figueroa. Describe this elephant, please. Thank you. Well, elephant is big. It's so big. Um, have a uh, two. Colmillos? How do you say colmillos? How do you say colmillos in English? Anybody? Anybody? Do you know how to say colmillos in English? Uh huh. Tongues or can you? Tongues. 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 Yes, tongues. Very Her. good. Okay. Tongues. And what is the opposite, Esmeralda? Opposite the, the king. Of an elephant. Or like, the elephant is big, right? What is the opposite of big? Small. And small. what is an animal that is small? Um, cat. <laughs> A cat. And what about here in the picture? What is the name of this tiny animal mouse. here? Um, mouse. Oh, it is a mouse. Very good. No. ¿Cuál es el plural de mouse? Mice. <laughs> Very good, Ariel. Mice. No. Yes, no. mice. And what is the plural of elephants? Elephants. Elephant. Elephants. Very good. Just let yeah. S at the end. Very good. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer here? Voy a quitar el title arriba para que vean. <laughs> Tenemos match the words with their opposite. Entonces vamos a, pues, vamos a juntar pues, cuál es el opposite. For example, biggest. El opposite is smallest. This is biggest and this is smallest. Yeah? Okay. Vamos con number two. What is the opposite or the number two? Hi. Good. Excuse me. Good. 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 I Good. Letter I, I. Okay. Thank you. What about number three? Shorter. Taller. Oh. Longer. Taller. Taller. And Mary. Letter O. Letter M or here or letter O, o taller. Which one? Taller because it's shorter. Yes, shorter. very good. It's letter O. It's letter O. Very good. Because we have shorter, taller. Very good. What about the number four? Worse. Better. Oh, okay. perfect. This was easy, right? Yeah. Worse, better. Better. Best. Worse. Uh, best. Best. What is the letter? G. I. G. G, this one? G, no, no. J. Jota, J. 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 Far. 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 What about number seven? The lowest. Letter um, D. Highest. I. Highest. Letter I. Letter I. L. Clear. L. 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 Lewis. L. Okay. Yes. Thank you. L. What about driest? Wet, 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 oh, wet, very good. Be bravo, wetest, hot, cold, colder, be Peter, that is correct. What about shortest? Again, shortest. No, over there we have shorter. But here we have shortest. Shortest and longest. Letter M. Mary, that is correct. Very good. Longest. 
Let What about hotter? Hotter. Colder. See. There. See. That is correct, Cindy. Very good. See. See, Charlie. Very good. About number 12. Um, it's smaller. Smaller. Uh, smaller. Bigger. Bigger. I know. Uh huh. What is the letter? H. Very good. Letter H here. And what about number Cold. 13? Cold. Wet. No. Letter E. E elephant. Thank you, Luis. Thank you. What weather? What's that one? Weather. Number 14. Weather. Letter D. Dry. D Davis. Very Dry. good. Thank you. We have dryer. Dry. Dry. Very good. And number 15. Dry. Wet. Letter M. Wet. Letter M. M. November, right? Very good. So the last one is the high, high, highest, high, low, low, low. Very okay, right? Very okay. good. Very okay. Very good. So, and remember that we use adjectives to compare. For example, Alba Esmeralda Figueroa, compare el el elephant with the mouse, please. Thank you. Um, uh, example, please. Mm -hmm. Compare the elephant with the mouse. Well, um, the elephant is big. Um, it's big or bigger? It's bigger than the mouse. The mouse, very good. Yeah. Ahora, haga lo opposite. The mouse mm -hmm. is smaller than the elephant very good thank you so much okay perfect perfect okay thank you so this is the way we compare right we can compare people also we can compare uh animals objects and things pronunciation let me help uh some participation here we are going to have uh, Blanca, can you participate? Yes or no? Uh, Sandra, Lisette, Elizondo? Well, not the Blanca. Oh, oh Blanca is de la Lara. Thank you. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. Uh, what can I do? Perfect. Do me a favor. Diga este adjective y luego el opposite, please. Diga. Y así va a ir hasta abajo. Yep. The smallest. Bad. Good. Yep. Shorter. Mm, taller. Perfect. Worse. Better. Near. Far. Lowest. Mm, highest. Yes. No, no, okay. Ocho. Diez. Dries. I don't know how to put it. Dries. Dries. Mr. Witter. Wettest. Wettest. Okay. Hot. And cool. 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 Oh, okay. Shortest. Don't just lie me. Love it. Longest. Very good. Hotter. Colder. Very good. Weather. Mm, dryer. Dryer. Repeat. Dryer. 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 Yes. Dry. Mm, this line. Wet. Uh -huh. <laughs> High. And low. Very good. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta de algún adjetivo que no entienda? Yes. Algún adjetivo que no entiendan, or you can say, oh, this one, I don't get it. Hi, hi, please. Oh, <laughs> highest. Highest, this one, yes? 
Ok, acuérdense que tenemos es el más alto. El más alto. Acuérdense que estuvimos viendo comparative y superlatives. Los que llevan, por ejemplo, ER, esos son los comparativos, right? Y los que llevan IES son los superlatives. Yes, el superior ante todo. Y los que son normales, like bad, pues es un normal. Un normal adjective. ¿Ok? Yes. Are you ready for tomorrow's celebration, Luis? I go to work. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay. You have a question? Uh, maybe the number four, worse. Oh, worse. Es eh, como peor. <laughs> no, peor. Peor. Sí, comparativo. Y este que está aquí, el number five, es worst. Mm -hmm. Ese es el superlativo, mm -hmm. el más peor. El más peor. Uh -huh. El más peor. <ríe> el más peor. <ríe> ok. Good night, people. Enjoy your uh, weekend. Nos vemos Happy el Monday, right? Thank you. Good night, everybody. Happy Independence. Hey, don't eat donuts, ok? That's not bad. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you. Take Bye. care. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>